Welcome to Alpha Cars. We're checking out 2014 Nissan Rogue. This particular vehicle has only 27,000 miles, and uh, one of the reasons we uh, picked it for our inventory and offering it for your consideration is the quality of the vehicle. Uh, the service and maintenance was always done on time. It was originally leased uh, for about a year and then it was sold to the second owner who had the car for five years and both owners always serviced the car on time with all the maintenance items completed. Another reason is that this vehicle has an amazing level of options. And we're going to check those out. During the course of the ownership, there was a minor accident that caused some cosmetic damage, and I think it was about five years ago, and uh, all the panels were repaired properly. It is hard to visually identify where the paintwork was done, but through the paint meter tool that we use, we know that uh, left quarter panel right here, uh, left rear door and left front door, have previous paintwork, and again, it's done impeccably, and since it was done um, almost five years ago and held up so nice, we know that it's going to do very well. So let's walk around the vehicle, and uh, I'll give you my comments on the condition. The paintwork is beautiful throughout the vehicle. The paint is original except for those three panels that I just mentioned, the condition of rims uh, we're looking at the left side is in great condition. Tires are practically brand new. You can get details on the tires and brakes in our listing, but here we can see that tires are in almost new condition. The In the front, you can see on the bumper, there are a couple of scuffs. I'll point them out. One right here, and we're going to touch that up. We ordered the original Nissan factory touch-up paints. So we're going to touch them up. And there are light surface scuffs here that we are going to touch up. A uh, previous owner had installed um, the stainless steel, polished stainless steel accessory to protect the front bumper. It's done a great job. The bumper is in nice condition, and these um, protective uh, push bars, they can be easily removed, so you can let us know if you're considering this vehicle. We can gladly take them off uh, for you. On the passenger side, things look very, very nice. Rims are in great condition. Matching set of tires. The paint looks very nice. What I like about um, this trim level of Nissan Rogue, it does come with this plastic um, plastic arches and also the plastic covers on the rocker panels and bottoms of the doors. They serve a great job of protecting the bottom parts of the vehicle and as you can see it wraps up around the vehicle. They do a great job in protecting from just minor dings on the edges. As we make our way around the vehicle, uh, the rear bumper is in great condition. Again, a couple of minor touch-ups that we will be addressing. Um, overall in great condition. Let's uh, take a peek around the interior. As you can see, it has the power tailgate. Yeah, this vehicle, the SL trim level has a lot of options to begin with and this particular one on top of the SL trim level it does have um, another nice packages that we will discuss in just a moment. With only 27,000 miles impeccable ownership and service history and these great options. This Nissan Rogue is simply an outstanding value. 
So let's get the engine started so we can look at this beautiful panorama roof. Check out the size of this panorama roof. The first thing you see, the shade opens up and then the roof panel opens up. As you can see, It is a large uh, panorama roof panel. While we look at it, let's take a look at the headliner, which is in impeccable condition, and overall, the interior of the vehicle is in very, very nice condition. Uh, we are looking at the back seats, and this one has a soft leather coverings. There are no gouges anywhere in the back parts of the front seats or the door trim. The sill plates have minimal to no wear at all. Door jams are nice and clean. What I also like about this vehicle, if you look at the, uh, if you look at the line of the door frame starting from here, you can see it's pretty square. It does not round off like that which makes it very easy to get in and out so you see this area right here and this whole opening um, so it, it it does make it very easy for people to get in and out and to carry the cargo in and out speaking of cargo we're looking in the cargo area Everything is really nice and really clean. There are plenty of space down below. It's almost like there is another layer. You can see. So it's pretty cool. It's like uh, two platforms. And then there's more room down below that we can check out. Right here. You can see there is a uh, Bose subwoofer sitting inside a actual spare wheel. A lot of cars these days, you don't even get the spare wheel. Uh, here's a 12 volt power outlet, cargo tie downs right there on both sides. And the cargo area is very, very clean. It actually doesn't have any wear marks or gouges for that matter. So we can uh, close it. Has a power function. There is a backup camera right there. And this vehicle also has a lot of technology built in. There are cameras pretty much, you can see in different parts of the car on the bottom of the mirrors. There's another camera right here. And as a part of SL Premium Package, which this vehicle has, it has LED headlamps. Really nice feature to have. Um, we're gonna look at a couple other features that come with the SL Premium Package, and they include the forward collision warning, safety shield technology, blind spot warning, lane departure warning, and of course the power panoramic sunroof that we already showed you. And as you can see, there are a lot of cool controls up here that you do not see on other, even SL variants, trim level, unless they have the SL premium package, which is a $2,000 package. It was pretty expensive. Um, the condition of the Glass on the vehicle is impeccable, no chips, no cracks. Overall, the car presents itself very, very well. You don't feel like you just got in the old used vehicle and you have to settle for a bunch of things. 
It also drives very, very nice. Let's take a peek in the engine compartment. Here is the lever. So we're going to release that. And let's pull that up. Wow, it actually all looks like new over here. It does not look like a 2014 vehicle, but on the other hand, it only has 14, 000, I'm sorry, 27,000 miles, which is not a lot, a lot of miles at all. So we are going to get the engine started. The carpets are very clean. The center console is simply impeccable. What impressed me about the vehicle also, it's just the condition of the controls. If you look at the steering wheel buttons, at the steering wheel le leather, uh, if you look at the uh, all the power switches, the door handles, and the panels surrounding those contact points, it's all in great condition. Minimal wear on the rubber on the pedals, which is indicative of the low use, not just the low mileage. You can have low mileage vehicle and you, have, you can have a lot of signs indicating heavy usage. Uh, the engine sounds great. There, is no, there are no ticking noises, uh, nothing alarming in any way. All the hardware that we usually uh, look at checks out to be in great condition. Take a closer look at all the hardware, mounting hardware for the fenders, for the front radiator support. Everything is original, and the reason we want to look at that, and of course we already paint metered the car, but this is another level of inspection that we do, and some of the uh, conditions can indicate, not on this car, but on other cars we uh, check out, they can indicate uh, prior repairs. So no range marks on the bolts uh, or screws, and the engine runs beautiful. We'll take another walk around the vehicle. And by the way, that um, rear protective guard in the back, it was part of the original vehicle order and is shown on the uh, original window sticker. And it looks like the front push bar uh, was added on. And they did a great job. It, uh, it lined up beautifully. Again, we're showing you the car that we simply washed. We did the interior, vacuum and detail, but we have not done the touch up. That is still to be done and, and vehicle already looks outstanding. So we're going to take it for a quick drive and uh, provide you some comments on how it feels on the road. Let's take a quick walk on the daylight. It's pretty sunny and before we take it on the road, I just want to show it to you on the daylight. The vehicle is very, very sharp, beautiful color combination, nice, uh, nice, very unusual platinum silver color on the rims. Um, the protective uh, push bars in the front and in the back um, look very nice, but again, if you want us to remove it, we will gladly do that. So overall, the vehicle looks stunning and it offers a lot in, in its price range. So let's check it out, how it feels on the road. Typical luxury features that you expect from a luxury car include the nav system, heated seats, leather wrapped steering wheel, leather seats that are in great condition, and the armrest is in great shape.
the shifter knob and the center console and all these areas are in great condition uh, we are going to just set things up and we are ready to take off the throttle engagement is very smooth uh, not abrupt and very controllable at the uh, at the takeoff The instrument cluster is large and informative. The vehicle is 27,800 miles. The steering wheel tracks beautiful. The cars go straight. It doesn't pull to either side. The steering wheel is positioned straight. The windshield is super, super clear. And it looks like it's original windshield because there's a Nissan uh, name on the left bottom corner. The dashboard is very nice and there's more Bose uh, speakers. There was one we saw in the back and there is uh, one speaker mid-range in the middle of the dash and looks like the tweeters are in the right and left corners of the dash. The car feels awesome on the road. It's very quiet. I think between the vehicle design and sound insulation qualities and uh, the quiet tires that are nice all-season tires but not noisy tires the vehicle feels awesome I'm gonna hit my favorite bump right here yeah very nice the vehicle continued straight uh, no unusual sounds again for the in this price range it's hard to beat the value because you get a good size all-wheel drive SUV with all the luxury amenities and it does feel awesome on the road here's a nice little M3 so we are going to turn around I'm satisfied with this test drive the vehicle also was driven by our technician on the highway they reported no vibrations from the steering or when you're braking so it is an awesome vehicle that if it fits uh, your and your family driving needs we would love for you to come in and check it out It also, I should mention, comes with two sets of keys. It has the owner's manuals. And if you click on our listing on our website, alphacars.com, A-L-P-H-A-C-A-R-S.com, we will have all the additional details, including the original window sticker that uh, shows the premium package and a few other nice extras. The transmission, by the way, feels awesome. It is really, really smooth. Very smooth. So you can also give us a call at 968-263-9000. We would love to speak with you, answer your questions. You can find a lot of answers on our website. Our listings include all the technical inspection information, including condition of tires, brakes, paint meter readings, uh, comments on the history, uh, comments on the value, and a lot more information. So thank you very much for viewing this video from Alpha Cars. We were checking out 2014 Nissan Rogue SL with a premium package and many other extras. Thank you.